Welcome to day eight of my water fast. You know, I didn't feel like doing a vlog today. Um, I'm not doing much live and I'm actually appreciating the, uh, the lack of uploading and all that. I've mentioned it before, but it, it really is sweet not to work while you fast. Uh, I keep recommending to people to not do any physical activity um, and go to work work, you know, take a car and go up a flight of stairs and be in an office. Um, but uh, it can be pretty draining to work on certain projects. So I've watched some videos on YouTube and I was quite inspired myself uh, to find uh, many people vlogging and some people are so eloquent and uh, able to really transmit what it is th that their fast is doing for them. Um, some people that I've found, for example, spoke of Wow, I've actually forgotten what this wonderful video had, uh, had for subject today. Um, let's see. Um, <laughs> come on, I have to come. Oh, she was talking about, she was talking about, the um, ah, yes, hunger. <laughs> wow, was that like some kind of reverse Freudian slip where I don't want to think about uh, but hunger, uh, this person had done, I believe she was up to 21 days or maybe a little bit more and uh, she basically said hunger came back and it felt like a wolf jumping out of her chest. So that's a clear, clear thing. Last time when I was in Thailand, I think day 18 I mentioned that I was starting to get hungry and uh, but I wasn't sure. So I guess if there's a wolf jumping out of your stomach, you know, like that alien scene. Blech. Um, then you'd pretty much notice, you know. So I'm looking forward to that authentic hunger, to feel it once and to uh, experience it. Um, I, I do know that it's supposed to be accompanied with um, lots of flowing saliva, which right now my mouth is, is actually quite pasty, and if you don't mind, I'm... Thank you. So there's the indications for uh, stopping the fast. Now as this goes on, I'm more and more excited at the fact or the idea of creating videos that are tooled for, uh, uh, that are tooled, that I'll take my time this time instead of rushing for a vlog. So trying to do better edits, not really better edits, uh, but rather to do something that's uh, going to help people on their little voyage, <laughs> their big voyage. Water fasting can be quite a big voyage. And uh, I want to know about if I'm having bowel movements, right? Well, I had a eighth of a cup of some kind of juicy stuff that came out and I observed it because I do that, because it's coming out of your body. Uh, you know, I, I mentioned that in the first fast, so I'm pretty sure that I was freaked out how people would um, be grossed out by their own bodies. I mean, sure, it doesn't smell good, but uh, look at it. What is it? Is it green? Is it purple? Did you eat beets? You know, today I had some long stringy stuff come out and I swear I saw a piece of lettuce. It was a piece of lettuce. It had to be, it looked just like a piece of lettuce. You know, I wish I had my lettuce testing kit because, you know, this was, well, um, now another video I found the other day that, uh, moving swiftly along from my poo, let's talk about McDonald's. Someone had a five-year-old hamburger. Was, was the one on camera two years old or four? I'm not quite sure. But no doubt, I've linked to this, and right below you there's a little link. And that's the joy of uh, this YouTube thing now. I can just chat and move along almost, because if you're interested, uh, to give you the rundown, this hamburger looks exactly the same. The fries are still golden brown. Uh, unreal, unreal, so check it out. Uh, coming out of the water fast is, uh, is more and more of an interesting prospect because I'm, I'm excited, I'm excited. I feel like I'm distancing myself from my past uh, food habits and that somehow I'm going to uh, build something much better. You know? Okay, I'm really looking forward to breaking the fast. N not the hunger part, not all that, and I know it could be three weeks away, but 
I'm looking forward to eating, not for the taste of food this time, not for that kind of stuff. Been through that, you know. And 21 day water fast taught me a lot of what's going on. But now what excites me is I get another fresh start, you know. And, and that's the thing, it's, it's starting over again or trying, right? So clearing the things beneath you. Um, and what's beneath me? Well, balsamic vinegar. Oh God, I'm going to have to come clean. It's a good time to be close to the camera. Day, nights two and three, and I think five again, or four, no, I skipped a day. Five, I had uh, probably a couple of teaspoons, tablespoons of uh, balsamic vinegar. I love balsamic vinegar. I mean, I usually have it on french fries, potato chips, or things like that. And sometimes I just drink it out of the bottle. Um, if there is a specialist out there that knows what condition I have, just message the world, or rather make a, a comment. And uh, it should be interesting to uh, share, but why? So anyway, so day five, I, I have a couple of things of, of uh, of all the, well, I don't have much food here. I was going to say of all the other things I could choose, but balsamic vinegar. Um, so I read the ingredients, and there was balsamic vinegar and, oh, what is it, sulfur dioxide, or dioxin. Or is, are dioxins a class, and then the dioxide is one of them? Uh, sulfur diox something, right? It doesn't sound really good. So I, you know, definitely decided not to do that again. My hair is growing back, and uh, I actually shaved yesterday, so there's a difference. And I got gray hairs. I wonder if, uh, I'm getting old, getting old, getting old. So I've actually noticed that my face is changing. Uh, my cheeks are a little bit more hollow. Uh, I don't know what side really, but you know, definitely starting to happen. Uh, so my skin is shrinking, so there's a little bit of, you know, looseness. I was reading recently, and I know I've posted this website, it's Raw Food Explained, but there's something about pinching your skin and feeling how it comes back. It doesn't come back quite well, or leaves creases, or, or pulls off. It means that you're not drinking enough water. And that brings me to an important subject, is kidney pain. I had kidney pain the first few nights, and in fact it was keeping me up. Um, the last few nights. Last night was good. Actually, I slept quite well. Now, someone mentioned that I might be drinking too much water, so I've cut back a little bit. I was drinking about four liters a day, which I didn't think was quite extreme. Um, so I'm taking about three now, maybe a little bit more. Um, is I sip constantly, and I, I feel that that's probably better. So I'm not quite sure if the pain is the processing of chemicals in my body or toxins, or if it actually is just a body bombarded with water. Um, so I'm not quite sure about that. I've not found in literature the exact amount of water to drink because I don't think it exists. I think if I were a little more experienced in water fasting and would have worked with a hundred people or so, I would have gotten a handle on who needs water and when. So if I get to do a hundred water fasts in the next hundred years, maybe I'll know. Stay posted. So that's about it. I, I can't think of anything else. I really didn't feel like setting up the lights really didn't feel like doing much today. I've been taking walks on the beach, taking naps. I've been working a lot on Yoga Yak, on updating the new site, because uh, right now it's not a community site. and it, it was supposed to be all out a community site, but it didn't. Um, and the explosion of YouTube created something new, free videos, and, and trying to grasp on to free, not free, is very difficult. So for many reasons. Yoga Yak is being redesigned um, to permit easy access, leaving messages, and will also be free to a certain extent. And the extent that it's not free is I'll offer downloads and DVDs and things like that, and hopefully forge a living. I do other things as well. I mean, I do videography, and I'm also a fractolifer, fractolifer, fractologist. I do fractal videos. Uh, in fact, I'm more than likely showing you a little bit of my artwork right now in the background. Yeah, I, I, day nine tomorrow, and it's getting, it's getting to the point where I really don't have that much to say. I mean, I want to create a daily video and upload it, but I don't want it to be boring <laughs> that much for people. I was just about to sign off, but maybe I can demonstrate something that you might think is a little disgusting. Uh, but I, I promise you it's something that you'll really appreciate. Now, let's have a look at my tongue. 
Um, so my tongue is coated with a white substance. Huh? It's whitish? I'm going to go scrape my tongue with a tongue scraper and I'll be right back and I'll show you the tongue scraper. And, and should I bring the scrapings? God, how disgusting would that be? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. All right, I just scraped my tongue. Let's have a look. Maybe not a huge, huge difference. Now, okay, I'm going to show you what was on my tongue. It's going to be very disgusting. Click away now. It's gross. It's just white gooey stuff, but you can click away. Last call, last chance. Okay, so what... This is not toothpaste, and it changes, you know? <laughs> okay, so this is not, it's not saliva. It was sol solidly attached to my tongue, okay? And sometimes it's actually really thick. It's actually really thick. So this is a tongue scraper. And uh, essentially, you buy this anywhere. They come in metal. I think they're a little bit better, better in metal. Would they be more hygienic if they're like copper? And they don't, does copper not, uh, copper protect from bacteria? I really do not know. Uh, mine is uh, water, and simply there's a little sort of sharp edge here. I shouldn't say sharp, but it's not jagged, that's for sure, but it, there's a little edge there, and that's enough to uh, pull down the length of my thumb. And uh, <laughs> my thumb, just looking down at my thumb, it's enough to pull down the length of my tongue and uh, clean it. Now, it's really good for breath. Uh, it helps with fresh breath and things like that. And especially when you're fasting, you know, your body goes through a lot of ways of expelling toxins. Um, it's gonna go through the lungs, the breath itself, the skin, the sweat, the urine, the feces, you know, just about everything. Oh, tears. So that's it, uh, tongue scraper. There we go. Signing off. Signing off. <laughs> Day eight. We'll see you soon. Love and light.